first question we're going to be dealing with is what is low T? Low T is a very commercialized term for an actual medical condition called hypogonadism. This is where the gonads, the testes in men, the ovaries in women, stop producing enough testosterone. That can essentially be for one of three reasons. Either the testes are getting the right amount of stimulation chemically and just not producing normally. It can be because the brain is failing to stimulate the testes the way they should and or it could be a mixture of the two. So the bare basics is the fact that there is a normal accepted level of testosterone and if you're below that point then of course you're considered to be low. There are two components to that. There are total testosterone measurements and free testosterone measurements. So we're going to take a look at a little bit of both of those things now. So for men, the widely accepted range for testosterone is usually between 300 and 1000 for normal. That being said, keep in mind that there are different modalities for testing testosterone. That means there are different reference ranges or different normals per test. So if you run the test differently, there's going to be a different number. For our discussion, we're going to be using the same reference range that is used by LabCorp. It's a nationally known and respected reference laboratory. And their normals are between 300 and 48 and 1,197 nanograms per deciliter. So this is obviously a big wide range, but let's talk about what should happen with low testosterone or with testosterone production in general. Uh, what should happen is for a man, testosterone should spike and cause puberty. It should peak in your 20s. And then at around age 30, you should lose 1% per year thereafter. So if you look at this wide range of 350 to 1200, and we say that maybe at age 30 you have a modest level of 800 or so. And then you mathematically calculate that out and you only lose 1% per year over the rest of your lifetime. You should not hit this low level into your 80s. Mathematically, it should take a very long time for you to lose enough testosterone production for you to be considered below normal. So what we see, however, is men much younger than 80 have much lower levels than what we see here as what are considered normal. So when we treat testosterone therapy, it's also important to note that we don't just try to edge into normal, nor do we want to go well above normal where you have more risk. We shoot for what we term the mid-normal range. So roughly, that's going to be between 500 and 1,000. So this becomes our new normal. Now, this is measuring total testosterone. So total testosterone is akin to measuring every single molecule of testosterone in your bloodstream. Now, if I were to do that, if I were to look in your blood vessels and then decide that I'm going to count up every single molecule and come up with a representation of that, that's what your total testosterone number would be. But if I look more closely, what I'm going to see is that there are molecules that are bound to protein like albumin. There are other molecules bound to other proteins like sex hormone binding globulin or SHBG. We'll talk about that more later. And then there are free floating molecules of testosterone. And it's free testosterone that actually does the work. If it's protein bound, testosterone is just hitching a ride through your bloodstream. But it's free testosterone molecules that are able to migrate out of the bloodstream and into the cells to direct what happens even at the nuclear level. So both numbers become very important. Free testosterone levels, we use your calculated free testosterone for our purposes, that is normal between 9 and 30. And when you boil it all down, really this number is even more important than your total. But low testosterone is the failure to produce testosterone in the normal levels whether that be your total testosterone or free testosterone. Because of this protein bound component of your total testosterone, it is sometimes common to see low normal total testosterones, which lead to low free testosterone. So this is where low T starts. Um, that's the medical confirmation of the symptoms. 
So we'll talk about this again more later, and in the next video we're going to move on to the symptoms of low testosterone. Thank you for watching.